looks like two agendas, which is probably good enough to toss away. I uh, can't get a good look at Steve's hand. Uh, looks like inject, career fair, some other stuff. I'm all again that. I wouldn't keep that hand. That looks. Oh, he does. Wow. Okay. Very good top deck. Too big to fail. Get straight seven bucks right there. I bet. I bet Eric's probably gonna want to slam the audacity score uh, within next turn. But with no ice to protect, uh, it's an interesting predicament of what they want to do. So, looks like too big to fail and just credit credit. Uh, Steve's gonna go with uh, inject, revealing. Four cards, Maxwell James, zero, liberated, and employee strike. Okay, employee strike is a very big card to get right there. That's going to stop the uh, Atlas train, as they say. Uh, liberated, uh, career fair, so it costs only three. I like that a lot. So um, perhaps maybe it'll be a click of four on uh, liberated and perhaps... Oh, just click for eight. Okay. So mandatory draw. Can't see when he's drawing. Looks like a hostile takeover. Okay, scores it right away. So, C's so got two bad pup. I guess bad pup is not really that big once uh, <laughs> you win the game before that. It has a big impact. So, so I click one is install zero. Click two is U zero. I uh, use the, lose the second copy of zero. That's fine. Draws up two cards. I wonder. Okay. Uh, Sorry, no. No, it's okay. That's okay. Uh, just telling like initial assessment on like what players are wanting to do. Yeah, getting that employee strike down uh, right away. And then for last click, it looks like a daily cast. Yeah. So uh, Eric's probably gonna want to draw something okay maybe get some ice see he looks like he hasn't had any ice in a while in fact Eric has he doesn't have a ton of ice in general that's actually only 10 ice so okay click one draw hedge fund seems man click two draw oh boy he's getting Eric's flooded getting, getting lucky here Steve is going a little passive trying to build his board yes but Losing these two cards off of this audacity is going to hurt a bit, but okay. Wow, just tosses a GFI like that. So gains two off of the other cast at the start of his turn, so we'll be at, oh. Okay. Excuse me. So uses zero, loses mining accident. <laughs> Probably doesn't need that. So draws two. Inject and look like MK Ultra. Oh, inject again. Dirty Laundry, Daily Cast, MK Ultra, and Sure Gamble. So we're gonna get some money off of the Ultra. And then last click, eh, might as well just Dirty Laundry into a. Uh, oh, okay. Doesn't want to run. Okay, so we got C's full list. So, oh, Steve is also running the Rude package. I like it. Deck is looking uh, very familiar. Yes, uh, it looks like. My God, it looks like very similar to Terence's deck, except there's five cards less. That's all the big difference it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like that. So guard, probably not the best piece of ice that Eric probably wanted. Hmm. Yes, uh, Tokai is AX. Yes. Everybody is saying, I don't want to trash anything. I just want to trash everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Wall's a pretty good pickup as well. I think you got to start protecting centrals at this point, even though it's going to cost him only a few credits at a time. So Eric's probably just asking what he's got in there. He's got Ultra Paper Clip, Ultra paper clip which uh, so might as well make us. Uh, guard. So we're going to zero up. We're going to be losing another MKUltra. Eh, that's fine. 
So let's work. I don't think uh, Eric has anything to prevent those from being played from his discard. So no, nope. not really nope. a big deal losing it from his hand. Yep. That employee strike is going to be very painful. I would imagine that Eric probably should have. Okay. It's going to run HQ into a guard. So it's going to cost only three credits for the first run because of the bat pubs. Yep. So two for that. And then. I don't know if he said end the run or if he's continuing it. Can't tell. Ah, he did stop. Just to get the turning wheel counter. Oh, uh, I think Eric forgot to pay an extra credit to the res on guard. Forgot, forgot the ID ability. So there's. We'll see if Steve remembers to remind Eric of that. Oh, wait, no. I think he did. No, I don't think he did. Okay. Ooh, that's a good draw. But he needs a way to protect that. Uh, I guess he could... Oh. Yeah, okay. So, reses it. Installs uh, Project Atlas. Then dedications the reconstruction contract. To add three counters on it and then moves it directly over to yep scores atlas with no counter key piece in the uh combo decks very helpful uh asset that moves uh, advanced counters at instant speed so zero helping out quite a bit here cutting through cards drawing a bunch Yep. Once again, forgets the extra credit, but I'm not. We're not gonna be judging that. So, oh, neglects to pay two credits for a favorite clip. Okay. So that runs HQ, bad pubs, and one credit. Let's see what Steve hits. Audacity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tosses mining accident. Fair enough. So click one's gonna be draw. Nope. Thinking about it. Draw. Ooh, Hordum's gonna be nice. That's actually very nice. Uh that's really nice. That could just go right in front of the, uh, yeah, HQ. I like that a lot. Steve forgot his turning wheel counter as well. That's fine. So zero. Maxwell James goes bye-bye. Kind of reminds me of uh, Wild Side in a way. Yeah? Yeah. That's true. It's like an homage to uh, <laughs> Wild Side. Uh, as for those who probably haven't uh, known the game for a while, Wild Side was a original core resource that allowed you to draw two cards at the beginning, but you just lost a click. It forces you. Sorry? It forces you to draw at the beginning. It forces of you to draw. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. But uh, adjusted front of effect? That's correct, which was so a genetic. You ignore the first lost click in your turn made that uh, very strong. Yes. Free draw too? Seems okay. And it was coined, I think, at the time uh, Pancakes. Then. Pancakes, yes. yes. Okay. So that <laughs> that hard hitting news is never going to happen. So I would probably just go ahead and score this. Uh, yeah. So install advance and audacity. It. Advance and wham. I guess Eric doesn't mind that there's four points in the archives, but if Eric happens to find any of the key pieces left in his deck, he could just win right on the spot. So, all right, my asking goes away again. Ah, oh, there is the Black Orchestra. 
Click two is draw. Look like a paperclip? Yeah. I thought Steve had a paperclip in the game. I thought he had one in the Did he want? Huh, eh, we'll see. So, bad pup to get in. Sees one extra card. Sees the top card, which is a hostile takeover. Okay, very good to steal. And can't see. Oh, that's. That was a big. That was a. That was very big right there. Now, if uh, Eric or Steve just runs archives, it's game over. That's true. But we'll see I, what happens. I don't think he's going to. No, because if Steve. Oh, all right. Mandatory draw. Can't. Couldn't see really what that was. Trying to lean into the side of the monitor to get extra. <laughs> Damn, he's good. <clears throat> it's, it's kind of like the Waylon and uh, NBN curse where it's like they die to the agenda flood. <laughs> yeah. All right. Makes loose four. Draws a card and draws one card. Doing his court? Are you inputting his court? Yeah. And draws again. Click one is indexing. Yep. Basically, he's trying to force. Uh... Oh, <laughs> Steve gets a chance to see what the. Uh... What the. There's kill punishment in there. Leaves uh, GFI on top. Smart. Uh, runs R and D probably. Yeah, runs R and D. Forces the Atlas to go off. Let's see what it was. Sometimes it's also like a big bluff too. Whether if someone is basically forcing you to shuffle your deck if you saw no agendas with the indexing the beauty of it so it's like based on what eric has currently in his hand if he has an agenda in hand he would get the audacity if he doesn't he'll probably just grab an agenda away maybe so two audacities left having a little trouble deciding what he wants here yeah if i if i got a better insight on what his hand looked like i could probably okay all right. It deems that money is probably important. I don't blame him for that. Okay. So, Steve just won. Ooh, dedication ceremony. That's going to be... Oh, it looks like he has a also takeover in his hand. And a high profile target. Yeah, that was a big steal there. Uh, Toe KX. Uh, Particularly with the other... Agendas that Eric already has in his archives, he probably wasn't thinking he's gonna lose a couple off the top of our right Well, particularly those two agendas, yeah, that was. Uh, if he lost, if he lost a hostile takeover, that's fine. But losing the, oh, and that's it. Oh no, that's game. Isn't it? Yep. Wait, is it? I forget. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yeah, Eric just had a very strong lead, and then just. Stumbled upon the finish line. I mean, like, sometimes it happens like that. Employee strike. Okay, so it's probably the... It looks very similar to Ben Blum's version, I think. No, 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 no. He ran indexing instead. No, this is like a very different version. Diesels. Wow. Okay, he really wants to go through his deck fast. Okay. Then we got Steve on the right playing MTI, which seems like the, I guess the boogeyman in the, in that runner where like Asmari, yeah, like Asmari was back in the day, and then once MTI came out, it was like, all right, move over, I'll show you what the corp really does. Feels like it's uh, that shouldn't be a Jinteki ability. It feels like it should have been like an HP ability or something. To be able to install something just as a well, instant. A, a trap ability? Essentially is what it is. Well no, an but ambush? I mean Yeah. Like it's an ambush ability, so that's kind of Jinteki. Okay. I can see that. I mean like everyone has traps, but Jinteki I kinda of had the most usable traps. True, true, and, true, and, true, and true. More of them. 
When they had two. two they, have, they have really nasty ice. That's true. Well, but just not. But they, they, they had the snares. They had the June bug. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, you're right. I was referring to just the ice installability. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess they have yeah. the, the pure trap ice, too. Yeah. Sadaka is very nice. I don't think I see it in his deck. In Steve's deck. Ooh, Swordsman. Probably to fight against uh, Omokoa. I can see that. That's fair. Yep. 100%. I agree. I am getting very thirsty. Oh, okay. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. I see the. Uh, I see what Steve's trying to do is the punitive side. That's his uh, kill package. Uh, which means he only has seven agendas, which means it's three Obakata is restricted, three bacterial programming, and uh, Philotic. You just saw the I, I. No, Nise. Never mind. Not bacterial programming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was odd to see a deck with no uh, Nisei, but all right. Starting round two, or game two, of round three. So both players keep their starting five. Ooh, the hand looks pretty nice. It looks like a celebrity gifts and then a hedge fund, perhaps. Nisei hedge fund. Oh. Um, chooses not the hedge. Uh, celebrity gift. Is that a what is that? Wall of Thorns? No, it looks like what is that? Uh, Neural Katana. Neural Katana. And it's all nice. Maybe? And we'll find out. So I've had worse. Click draw, draw, draw. So, I'll probably just credit up and then play the daily cast. Yeah. Just got to set up. Sucks to discard cards that are not conspiracy breakers, but. So, install that. Install Yusuf. I think just a credit. There you go. Mandatory draw. Eric has been mad. Making small changes to this deck frequently over the past couple weeks. That is that is true. Yes, he was really he, into. Previously, he was just he was relying entirely on data suckers, three data suckers to power uh, freedom. Yes, and uh, switched it up, put in a Yusuf, put in a breeding ground. That's right. It's very interesting that the barrier and the sentry virus breakers kind of just use other virus tokens to do their ability. I don't think there was ever a code gate released. Was there? Uh, I will figure that out in the future, but Okay, so DNA or Dash DNA. Data sucker. Let's run R and D. Well, can't do anything about that. Yeah. An odd time to see it, but that's fine. What is that? I would probably just take a credit. Yeah. <clears throat> so it looks like. Yep. Don't know what ice that is. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's right, Toke's. That's what it was. There is this very interesting code gate breaker that, like, Reduction strength based on cards in your hand. Yeah. Right. It's a fixed breaker, I think. Hippo. All right. I like that. Uh, he already gained his two. Uh, probably wants to guarantee. Oh, oh damn. I'll take that Nisei. Thank you very much. Oh. Sorry, he lost two agenda points for that. <laughs> That's what happens in uh, Netrunner. Steal an agenda, you lose points. Uh, I'd run R&D again. It's a new card. Ooh. Wait a second. 
does he want to let him score and he's safe? I he's see. Stuff, but I, I don't know. That. Interesting. Let's go. No res. Okay. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Surveyor. Takugo. That's easy break. Yeah, easy break. Ooh, losing ultra. That's very nice too. All right, let's see it. Oh man. Oh, man. oh boy. Two knees. Oh, where's my punitive? 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 One credit. Oh man, I just need to find that. Oh. <laughs> That's the card I saw on the side. Oh man. That's the card I saw on the side. <laughs> Well, that was even quicker than the last one.